What's going on guys? This is Josh here from HDFlorida.com here today at Tampa Harley-Davidson. You can see our beautiful mural behind me. And I've got this 2022 Harley-Davidson Fat Bob here in white sand pearl. So back when the Fat Bob was a Dyna, it was a pretty chunky, you know, laid back cruiser style motorcycle. But with the soft tail frame update and the inclusion of the Milwaukee 8 engine, this thing has become pretty much just a beast. The rideability is just off the charts. So up front, we have dual disc front brakes on floating rotors with four piston calipers squeezing on them things. And with that 150 millimeter front tire, this thing stops very quick. Pushing that front tire down onto the road is Harley Davidson's 43 millimeter inverted front end. It is the same front end that comes on the Lowrider S, uh, with the only difference being the spacing is a bit wider to accommodate that big tire and wheel up front. The responsiveness and the stability that it provides is just leagues above any other stock motorcycle in the same class. The fuel tank on the Fat Bob is the same 3.5 gallon tank we see on like Street Bob and such. Paired with the Milwaukee 8, you get about 120 to 140 miles of range on the highway, probably a little bit smaller on the street. The Fat Bob comes with the 114 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 engine that in stock form puts out about 118 foot pounds of torque which is very easy to upgrade due to the fact that it comes from the factory with the high flow ventilator air cleaner, which is essentially a Screaming Eagle part. The rear monoshock is very quickly adjustable for preload here by this knob that's on the right hand side of the motorcycle. One of my favorite things about the Fat Bob in general is just these hot rod looking body lines, like that big open rear fender that's a modern take on like a bobtail fender, plus the sleek tank all the way to the low bars. It just does a lot for me. The two up seat on the Fat Bob is one of the more comfortable ones that comes from the factory and that high back for the lumbar area really does keep you planted especially under spirited riding. The single gauge mounted on the dash console provides all of the information you'd expect from a modern motorcycle from a gear indicator to an estimated fuel range left in the tank. One of my favorite details about the Fat Bob is the little hash marks on the center of the handlebars. Practically, you could have a setting for your easy highway miles and then another setting that lends to a little bit more control when under aggressive cornering. The hand controls are exactly what you would expect from a modern Harley Davidson. They are the same ones that come on every other soft tail and they're very similar to the touring setup as well, minus the radio and other screen controls. Another very cool and unique feature that only the Fat Bob has is this big bar LED headlight. No other bike even comes close to anything like this from the factory and the visibility is great. It's very bright with those LED projectors. I've personally ridden one on completely dark backcountry roads and it performs similarly to what you'd expect out of a road glide with those projector headlights. We also see these unique tires with this chunky tread from Dunlop. No other motorcycle gets these from the factory. It's just another little detail that makes the Fat Bob stand out. Here we see the 11 individual projectors in that headlight. I'm doing some camera tricks here so that you can see the individual projectors. All right guys, that's gonna be it for me. I've been Josh with HDFlorida.com. This has been a beautiful 2022 Fat Bob 114 in White Sand Pearl. It's really a beautiful bike. You definitely should come down and test ride it if you haven't. This is a, it's a very sporty, very aggressive looking. It's super cool. We do test rides every day and you only need four things. Motorcycle license, closed toed shoes, long pants, and a helmet. That's all. And we'll, we'll get you on the road with one of our highly qualified sales associates. I'm going to put two more videos up on the screen right here. If you want to keep watching the cool stuff we make, it's right there. Remember, please, if you like this video, please like the video, helps us out, tells YouTube we're doing a good job. And if you wanna keep up with everything we make in real time, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you don't wanna do either of those things, I hope you have a good day.